Hello everyone and uh, I'm Minakshi Padya Sharma and welcome to this video on Mindworks about the next 30 days for CAT and what should you be doing for verbal ability and reading comprehension. Now when we talk about verbal ability and reading comprehension, so, uh, obviously you know that the CAT has come up with a two-hour paper. Now that two-hour paper, verbal ability and reading comprehension is going to get 40 minutes in that paper. In those 40 minutes, what is the best way to go about it so that you solve to the best of your ability? And these last 30 days, what should be you be doing so that you are in a confident state of mind and your performance is the best that you can do? So let's begin. Now today, uh, let me start off with talking about the chapters that you need to revise. And then we'll also be talking a little bit about the strategy of solving or how many questions to solve, etc. So as you know, that the time has reduced from one hour to 40 minutes. So obviously, the number of questions should also be reducing in that fraction, in that manner. So in that ratio, if we talk about, so around 24, 25 questions is what we predict in VRC that should come. And the breakup will be uh, something like, uh, say, around, uh, so when we're talking about uh, 16 in comprehension and about eight questions in verbal ability. But say if we talk about uh, 16 in comprehension and 10 in VA also, so up to not more than 26 questions is what we predict. So first of all, comprehension. Now comprehension is something that is definitely going to come. I mean, be it uh, any kind of exam and that we know that the cat always gives comprehension and all the exams give comprehension and the cat especially has been focusing more on comprehension so definitely reading comprehension has to be there so you have to focus on your preparation of reading comprehension now from where to solve if you have my book please do the level one level two level of difficulty lod's as we call it level of difficulty one and two of comprehension please solve solve all the cat papers that are there and uh, that which you can lay your hands on. Also, 17, 18, 19, two sets official six papers are available. So make sure that you are going very, very carefully with that part. Try to just minimize it to around 24, 25 questions. Try to attempt the paper in 40 minutes, just like a mock paper. All right. So comprehension is something that you have to focus on. Also, redo the things that you have done. Redo the questions in your mocks that you have already attempted. So time to revise. So revise your level one, level two, your cat papers. And together with it, also revise your mock papers. All right. Now analyze your errors. Those are very important. Just by, you know, just by doing it again and again or doing more and more mocks, that's not going to help unless you analyze why I was going wrong and unlearn those errors that you're making and relearn the right way to find the answer because in the comprehension the answer is in the paragraph itself so how to find that answer because now you know the right answer so where to look for it and what you were missing out so at least 100 comprehensions 70 200 comprehensions is what your target should be either uh, in the case of redoing new questions all combined so like 50 questions you are redoing and 50 new that should be the target then coming to the paragraph level questions now the questions which are very very common in cat last four years uh, if you take the pattern of 17 16 17 18 19 parajumbles so parajumbles again same places of revision uh, the book or study material that you have level one level two then the papers cat papers fully done and your mock papers. So again, 100 to 150 parajumbles I will want you to revise during these 30 days. Then the odd man out or the irrelevant statement. And together with parajumbles and irrelevant statement, please do paragraph analysis. How the sentences are linked, how the mandatory pairs are there. Please focus on that when you're solving. Just not look for the right answer, but see the formation of the paragraph. That makes you learn the mandatory sentences for the new paragraphs that you'll be doing because that makes you learn the relationships between sentences and that is very very important for parajumble for the odd man out which is also called as the irrelevant statement and for paragraph completion 
which is the last sentence of the paragraph. The whole paragraph is there, last sentence has been removed and you are given four options to check it. Now in parajimbals and in the odd one, if they are theta types, so you can do a little bit of guesswork also when you're trying to solve them uh, in the paper if you have time. But if you're not sure and you don't have time, please don't put extra time in that. It's better to put time in the questions that you know because 40 minutes is already less. Then the two other chapters that I would like to you to look at will be your uh, for paragraph level. As I told you, paragraph completion and critical reasoning. Those are also important. Then sentence level, I would want you to look at a little bit of fill in the blanks and fact influence judgment, FIJ, which has come. Maybe it might come back again. So fill in the blanks, FIJs, please go through the CAT papers and at least solve through that. Also, synonyms, antonyms, odd man out, analogy. These are important for your non-CATs. Not very important for cats, but do the paper, the cat papers from 99 to 2008. What it will do is that it will give a, a sort of an overview to you about the kind of questions that used to come earlier in the cat. So the word level and the sentence level, also phrasal verbs. So synonym, antonyms, odd man out, analogies, phrasal verbs, FIJ, and error correction, sentence correction. Make sure that you do at least few questions from the previous CAT papers. If you have my book, you can solve a few from uh, the lists that are there, the questions that are there in the book, but at least do them in the CAT papers 99 to 2008. Uh, do all the verbal portion. So it will not go waste. Why? Because the ZAT, the IFT, the NMAT, the SNAP, the Maharashtra CET, and TISNET, and uh, MyCAT, and all the other exams are still giving those questions. So what will happen is that even if CAT does not bring back those word or fill in the blank level or sentence correction questions, you will at least revise it for CAT level. So your other exams are going to benefit. So it will not go waste. Don't spend too much time on it. But just to be on the safe side, if they bring back the old question types, at least you have done them once, twice. So you know how to solve them. That is my advice to you. So the word level questions like synonym, antonyms, odd man out, analogy, idioms and phrases, phrasal verbs, just revise them. Then together with it, fill in the blanks, error corrections, all right, basic parts of speech and the common grammatical errors like parallelism, redundancy and modifier errors and all that. Just go through the thing once. Together with it, FIJs, then paragraph level questions, very important. Paragraph level questions, as in parajumbles, odd man out, irrelevant statement. Then your uh, uh, summary questions, summary of the paragraph. That's again very important in the new pattern that keeps coming. So parajumbles, odd man out, summary must do. Then extra questions, critical reasoning, and paragraph completion, which is last sentence of the paragraph. These five chapters in your paragraph level. And then you will also try to just analyze what are your strengths and your weaknesses. Try to maximize your strengths and try to minimize your weaknesses, your errors. Try to understand where you're going wrong and work upon them. Don't try to do many new things right now. Just revise what you have done. Please keep giving your mocks and the cat papers. Make sure that you're solving them. And if you're preparing for other exams, make sure you're solving those papers also together with it. So this is what you should focus on for your preparation the next 30 days. Now coming to what you should look at for your solving. So when you are in the exam, try to do at least 15 questions. 15, 16 questions, try to get at least 14 correct. A score of 40 plus takes you in a safe uh, zone. That is what we want. And then you can maximize as much as you want. So what to attempt, attempt first attempt those questions that you're sure about. So you can have a breakup of 10, 20, 10. First 10 minutes to verbal, do four or five questions that you're sure about, five questions. Then next 20 minutes to a comprehension, do at least 10 questions. So two minutes per question is what we are looking at. And then again, 10 minutes are left. So 15 questions we have already done. Now, two, three minutes you will take in choosing your question and all that. 
but the next five six minutes if you want to attempt a short rc with two three questions or if you want to attempt uh, two three more va questions you can go for that so that should be your solving strategy so 15 to 20 questions is what you're looking at solving at three levels if you are a perfect uh, solver in your comprehension and verbal you can solve up to 19 18 19 questions up to 20 questions if you are at a medium level in your english then solve 16 to 18 questions if you feel that your comprehension and you know verbal is not your strong area then be in the safe zone solve at least 14 15 questions so that is my advice to you don't look for new ideas don't do new things just revise what you have done maximize your strengths that is what you should work on also analyze your errors please give time for that that's the most important thing that you can do during this time so that you don't make those errors again and attempt only those questions that you're sure about if you have to do guesswork you can do it at the end in the theta the non-negative questions maybe one or two see the number of questions doesn't matter number of correct questions that you solve your accuracy is what is going to get you the marks all right so solve less but solve correct that is going to be really really helpful and if they give you word level and simple questions then up your attempts make sure then 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 you're solving more in um, you know context to what has come in the exam so that's all from me for this time and i'll be talking about other exams in my next videos thank you very much take care and god bless all of you bye bye